So this is just a helpful suggestion for anyone with a Synology RAID NAS, and you're using the SHR, the Synology Hybrid RAID, which allows you to upgrade one disk at a time without any downtime. This is in the middle of an upgrade going from four terabyte to 10 terabyte drives. It's currently on drive number four. And let me tell you what, this time is horrendous. <laughs> Nobody told me it was going to be this long. Drive number one went pretty quickly, about four hours. Put the new drive in, it does its formatting, it does the parity consistency check, no big deal. Second drive, well, it took a lot longer, about eight hours. Third drive, however, went for about eight hours, just like drive number two, I thought it was gonna be done. It immediately went into a second configuration. This is the beauty, really, of SHR. With a normal RAID 5 setup, you would be limited to usable space on each drive of your smallest in the array. So if I have, for example, four 10 ter terabyte drives and one four terabyte drive, I could only use four terabytes of all those 10 terabyte drives. It would be completely wasted space. With SHR, it reclaims that space and essentially makes a second array out of that space. And it does so with any mix of size drives, even one at a time. So it is really cool and no downtime. This is still up and running. I'm still streaming movies while it's doing this. But you've gotta wait days before you're done actually swapping drives. Drive number three has been going, well, it took over two and a half days. Drive number four is coming up on the two and a half day mark, and we're only at 82.3%. Uh, at this rate, it's gonna be done about one or two in the morning, and then I can finally swap out drive number five. And it's Friday night now. That might be done Monday, assuming it doesn't even take longer because that'll be the last one in the array. Once the array is complete and it sees exactly how much space it has to work with, which will be uh, 50 terabytes, it may reconfigure itself again because it will no longer have to have sub partitions. It'll just be totally normal. So that very well may take four or five days just for that one drive. So my suggestion is if at all possible, and I would have done this had I known if someone had done a video like this, I would have copied everything off the array, taken them out, put all the new drives in, made a whole new array, and then just copied the data back. That would have been done in a couple days total. That's less time than just drive three took. So hope this helps somebody. If you're going to upgrade your SHR array, if you don't need the system up, just copy the data. It's far easier. See ya.